Anatomy of skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle creates movement in the body. There are more than 600 skeletal muscles, and they make up about 40% of a person's body weight. When the nervous system signals the muscle to contract, groups of muscles work together to move the skeleton. These signals and movements are nearly involuntary, yet they do require conscious effort. However, humans do not need to concentrate on individual muscles when moving. Skeletal muscle is made up of thousands of muscle fibers that run the length of the muscle. Each muscle fiber consists of many contractile units called myofibrils, which run the length of each muscle fiber. Individual muscle fibers are wrapped with fascia and then further bond together by more fascia into bundles called fascicles. These bundles of fascicles are then grouped together to form skeletal muscle, which is coated by more fascia. Fascia is simply a type of connective tissue which provides a protective wrapping. Fascia gets thicker as it nears the surface of muscle and ultimately coats the entire muscle and eventually becomes the tendon that attaches muscle to bone. As we know, myofibrils are the contractile units that make up each muscle fiber. Myofibrils can be looked upon as the building blocks of muscle and contain units called sacromeres. Sacromeres are the smallest functional unit of skeletal muscle and are composed of two protein filaments, actin and myosin. Actin is a thin filament and myosin is a thick filament, also shown on the following diagram. And it is the interaction between these two filaments that causes the muscle to contract and shorten. Control of contraction. Although each fiber is innervated by a single axon, a motor neuron, many have a hundred of more axons. A single motor neuron with all the fibers it controls is called a motor unit. As the brain signal for contraction increases, it both recruits more motor units and increases the firing frequency of those units already recruited. Even during a maximal voluntary contraction, it is unlikely that all motor units, and hence the muscle fibers, are activated. 